I'm talking, he's going to wash you with his blood. It's the blood of Jesus. It's the blood of Jesus that came from sin. It's the blood of Jesus that sanctified. It's the blood of Jesus, amen, that keeps demons away from you. I don't believe no demon spirit can penetrate the blood. The only thing that causes the devil to get you, you have to get the money in the blood. I don't believe in this theory, theory once they always say, come on. Five of people, but God said, I know your heart. Come on, right. I know your heart. You can get in the house if you want to, and pull the blind down, and turn the lights up, and lock the door, and put the the door, commit your dirty sin. I tell you, God, so your sin gonna find you out. Hallelujah. Talk to you, moments. I want to talk to you today about the blood of Christ. Blood. Oh, Jesus. The blood. Everybody said blood. Blood. Say the blood. The blood. Of Jesus Christ. Of Jesus Christ. Right now, that is a special blood. And the Bible said it is what precious blood. <laughs> Let me turn attention to the second chapter of the book of Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 2. Verse 12 through 18. And at that, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenant of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. Hallelujah. But now in Christ Jesus, Ye who sometime will fall off are made nigh by the blood of Christ. Right. But in Christ Jesus, ye both sometime will fall off are made nigh by the blood of Christ. It is much been said about blood. Now, don't take that word blood casually. Blood is extremely important. All you gotta do is walk in his commandments, keep his word, sing songs, hymn, and spiritual song. You're gonna live right here in this crooked, perverse world and still be happy and enjoy the Lord. Praise God. If you, you come this way only by the blood of Jesus, that in time past without Christ. There was a time that the Gentile world didn't have no Jesus. The Jews had it but us Gentile folks. We were in this world without Christ. In the world without God. Couldn't even have God's favor. Couldn't even have the blessings of God. But you remember what St. John first St. John 3, 16 said, For God so loved the world. That means God loved every nation, every person, and God's love was so pure and so holy, and then God gave his son, and God laid on Jesus the negative of us all, and because Jesus broke my soul to believe, and he teaches that you can't live free from sin. And some people believe you can't live sin free. Well, then if you're not free from sin, that means you're bound by sin. That's why so many church folk do wrong, praise God, because you're not free. That's why people, amen, can't live right because you're not free. Now, when you're free, you can go free, praise God. When you're free, there's no more chain holding you. When you're free, there's no bound, and there's no meaning, there's no, there's no sin in your life. How many believe that you can be sin free? But then, if you can't be sin free, well, then how are you going to make it there? All right, say with those Christ in the world, being alienated from the common work of Israel. Let me talk about the Gentile people. We was alienated or cut off, shut off from the common wealth of Israel. We had not the blessing of Abraham. We had not the covenant of God at one time in life. Praise God, having no hope and without God in the world. You know, it's a bad uh, predicament to be in, a man living in a world like this with no hope. 
living in the world and got to die and die with no God on your side. And because of that covenant promise, because, because of the cross on this day, we all have hope today. Praise God. We all have hope. It doesn't matter whether you're a Jew or a Gentile. It doesn't matter your type of sin. It doesn't matter what you're doing, what you're thinking. It doesn't matter how far you're just from God. If you haven't crossed a dead line, if you haven't committed script and suicide, you can call on the Lord today and be saved. I'm talking going to wash you with his blood. It's the blood of Jesus. It's the blood of Jesus that came from sin. It's the blood of Jesus that sanctified. It's the blood of Jesus that made that keep demons away from you. Uh, the Bible says you only confess your sin and turn to Christ and repent of your sin and call on the name of the Lord. God said, I will have a mercy on you. Raise your hand and praise God. Amen. All because of the blood. When we call on Jesus, God remember that Jesus went to the cross of Calvary and that he hung on that cross and sheds his life's blood to save you. So the Bible says, without Christ, in no hope. This is the 13th verse. But now, in Christ Jesus, we thank praise God. They go back. But now, now, when, right now, I, and now in Christ Jesus, he who sometime was far off was made nigh by the blood of Jesus. Let me ask that blood again. Blood. Amen. We, you can't get no one near God with the blood. You're going to have to have the blood of Jesus Christ. In the hell with other preacher. How can he preach except they be sent? Right. I, I want you to understand today, a whole lot of preachers have been sent, a whole lot of failed to teach and preach. Amen. Anything for salvation other than the blood of Jesus, he wasn't sent, he went. Because the Bible says, it does he shed in the blood, there is no remission from sin. But that brother had been in that church for a long time and teaching blah, blah, blah. God didn't tell you to preach blah, blah, blah. He told you to preach the gospel. Come on. The power of God, the glory of God, you will preach the truth. Because the truth is the only thing that will make folks free. And he did declare that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today. He is the same forever. I'm talking, he's going to wash you with his blood. It's the blood of Jesus. It's the blood of Jesus that came from sin. It's the blood of Jesus that sanctified. It's the blood of Jesus, amen, that keeps demons away from you. I don't believe no demon spirit can penetrate the blood. The only thing that causes the devil to get you, you have to give it one of the blood. I don't believe in this theory, theory once they always say. Come on. Praise God. Salvation is a gift. Anything you, any gift you got, you can lose it. Come on, you can lose your house, can't you? You can lose your home. Amen. You can buy the house and pay for it. You'll clear deed to it and still lose it if you go bought some more money on it and don't pay it. Come on. But one thing I thought it praise God, if you see in the hands of Jesus, the devil cannot steal the blessing of your life. He cannot steal your soul. He can't steal your salvation. I, you know, it's a it's a dangerous thing for folk act like you say. But can you say? Trying to hide our sin, not my shell. Trying to cover our sin with a long testimony. God said you can honor me with your gift, but your heart is far from me. That's what the Bible says. It says, praise God. He's our peace who had made both one and had broken down the middle wall of petition between us. How many thank God the middle wall petition broken down? Amen. So I said, Amen. Praise God. I've been in the deuce to the Father and the Son. I ain't no stranger now. There's nothing between my soul and my Savior. Praise God. That's that sin that separated me from God. Jesus broke it down. My ungodliness that separated me from God. Jesus broke it down. On the day of oh, Calvary, the Bible said when he died, the veil in the temple ran in twin from the top to the bottom. Everybody who come to God through Jesus Christ, amen. I tell you have a special, your own individual as says to God. You don't need me to go with you to God. You can go to God for yourself. I can encourage you. Amen. I can warn you. I can pray with you and for you. I tell you what you can do. You can go to your home this evening or tonight. Get in your bedroom. That's why I'm in the woods somewhere and cry out to God and God will save you. Set you free to love you. And some folks see me in love sin. Get a love sin. So I said, I'm enjoying myself. Let me warn you, that sin that you may be enjoying or the sin the next person enjoying, be sure the Bible says that pleasure, that sin, is only last for a season. I tell you something wrong with your thinking if you go with a seasonal thing. I don't believe no demon spirit can penetrate the blood. The only thing that causes the devil to get you, you have to give one of the blood. I don't believe in this theory, theory once they always say, come on. Give you access to God. You pray to God for yourself and for yourself.